Alright then, it's been a very long time since I had to do one of these reviews and this might be one of the most complicated review I've ever had to do and I'll explain that in a bit, but hello everybody, this is the Epic Game Guru and I have a very odd announcement to make. Hunt Showdown is not very good. This might be one of my most longest comprehensive reviews that I've ever had to make on my channel and it's not in the sense that the game was virtually bad before, but Crytek seems to instinctively and forcefully, like I mean forced in there, try to put in updates and ideas for players to quote unquote enjoy and it doesn't benefit Crytek in whatever reason. So here's the thing that I don't understand about Hunt Showdown. So after all the years that it has been released, I played this game when MMR wasn't even a thing. I have over 500 hours plus if you include the time I spent on console. So at this rate, it is over between 900 to 1,300 hours in total in Hunt Showdown. So the thing that just boggles my mind that I don't understand and I'm, I'm still trying to comprehend this is that every single time they seem to put out an update, an event, or anything as such, there seems to always be and guaranteed a DLC release. Now, before somebody tells me in the comment section, it's like, Guru, they have to make money. It's a one-time purchase. It's not a live service fee. There's no reason to be mad about this or anything like that. I'm not genuinely mad about that. I understand that in DLC context, when it comes to video games, there's usually the art division of the entire development team that usually needs to be able to make money as well. These guys aren't cheap. These are really well-talented people that you do have to pay a good amount of sum for. But it is a little stingy when you think about the fact that not only is every single other DLC they're releasing now not 5 to maybe $8, each one is equivalent to 10 USD dollars every time they release a cosmetic DLC. Sometimes including more, sometimes including less, and sometimes most of the time, not even for skins on weaponry that you would really want. These are mostly brand new character based DLCs. If that doesn't just boggle your mind a little bit further, things get a little bit worse. And I have to talk about probably one of the most annoying topics in Hunt Showdown because even I don't, I personally wouldn't know how to solve this issue myself. Even if I was in their development team, even if I was whispering into their ears like, hey, you could do this, this, or that, it still wouldn't balance the weaponry problem. And that is a whole other category that I'm about to break down. So in spite of me saying all that, Hunt Showdown has always had a serious problem when it comes to weapon balancing in the game. As far as I'm concerned, low caliber ammo has just been left in the dust, shotgun ammo has been declared king, while long ammo is competing for the actual throne itself. You could argue the low caliber ammo can be good if you add any form of special ammo to it, but this also occurs to long ammo and shotgun ammo anyways, and some of the shotgun and long ammo could get really damn broken in the game if used properly. And that's just it. it may sound like a quick scenario where you could probably pick at least something and you might even regret taking low caliber ammo, but these type of situations are so scarce that both shotgun ammo and long ammo types have been pretty much king in the game since then. If you decided to throw low caliber ammo under the bus, I do not know. However, that's just the littlest of problems. Gun balancing isn't just the main issue in Hunt Showdown. It gets a lot deeper than that. How could it possibly get any deeper than mid smash and unbalanced ammo types or any type of shotguns and long ammo dominating the game permanently, basically? I have to talk about the brokenness and the absolute madness that is the MMR system. It is by far one of the most broken things in Hunt Showdown and things are about to get really deep in the rabbit hole on this. So what the MMR system essentially is in Hunt Showdown is a skill-based matchmaking type of ranking system that will try to, and I literally mean try, to try to get you into a skill group level with players that are about the same category of level as you, or in this case, the same skills as you, if possible. That's a big issue on many 
different circumstances. One, Hunt Showdown didn't previously have an MMR system before. Two, Hunt Showdown really didn't need an MMR system. I feel like the MMR system was probably one of the main things that ruined the game, and I'm going to explain further why. However, the thing that I find absolutely aggravating about the MMR system in general is that there is a way to turn off the skill-based matchmaking so you can at least enjoy random-based matches the way Hunt Showdown should have been. Now, before somebody tells me like, oh, but I prefer skill-based matchmaking or whatever, okay, you're entitled to your own opinion, dude, or madam, I don't know. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. But the thing was, is that they took that option away from the player base. There used to be an option that allowed you to turn on and off skill-based matchmaking, which essentially would put you into random skill groups the way Hunt Showdown used to be. But since that option has been taken away during this update, it kind of proves to me that they really just wanted players to go into sweatfest based match makes where you're just going to end up going against players who are just using the most powerful broken weaponry they can while also being just as skill leveled as you. That doesn't sound like fun to me, at least it shouldn't be. Like honestly, I would have preferred to just go into matches where randomness happens and the player base does what it can to survive in the bayou. That's at least my personal opinion on that. I've also heard of players decreasing their MMR simply by going to matches and getting themselves killed in order to decrease it further down enough so they'd be able to enjoy the game using just random lower MMR matches. Okay, so let me get this straight. Let me, let me sum this up to you guys because I know it was going to come up one way or another. Why does the player have to kill themselves or get themselves killed in order to decrease MMR when you literally had an option available to you to turn it off and now it's gone? Do you not see the biggest issue here where you're going to end up going into lobbies where are always going to be sweat fest. You're going to end up having like maybe two, three to maybe four matches where you've done really well. You get your MMR increase and now you're going to have to decrease it back down just so you can have fun in the game again. So case in point, why not just have an option to turn off skill based matchmaking then? Exactly. So let me get this straight. Gave the player the option to turn off skill based matchmaking so they don't cause MMR abuse, but then take that option completely away in a new update that's not even occurred or mentioned in the patch notes. Why take something away that valued more to the player to avoid needing to die several times in the server and wait on several loading screens? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it helped the player, then why take it away? Now after stretching my legs, I have to admit that I didn't mean like give the player an advantage or anything of that sort of nature when it comes to random skill based matchmaking. Random skill based matchmaking is supposed to be fun because you never know what you're going to expect and a lot of players would prefer that instead of causing MMR abuse where they have to lower their skill rank every single time if they want to get a decent lobby going or at least a lobby that's more chaotic. Alright, I believe I am finally at the final stretch of this and I have just one last thing that I need to really bring down with uh, Hunt Showdown this one. Like, I was trying to avoid talking about this topic for a good while, but I feel like when it comes to Crytek especially, and how they are always constantly arguing and complaining about the fact that they are dealing with cheaters 24-7, that is not a myth. That's a real thing. Cheaters are an actual prominent thing in Hunt Showdown, and there's a pretty obvious reason why, and I'm starting to believe that it's the only reason why we see so many of them constantly, almost every single time we load up the game. By way, I generally mean the partners that I play with, but the thing is, is that, yes, Hunt Showdown does have a prominent problem with a lot of cheaters in the game, and it's mainly because of the fact that they started to implement more of easy anti-cheat into the game. Now, obviously, this did exist preemptively beforehand, before I even started playing on PC, I knew about Easy Anti-Cheat, but the thing is about Easy Anti-Cheat is that the only way to get Easy Anti-Cheat to work well is that if it's implemented and used thoroughly. But here's the problem with Hunt Showdown when it comes to things that happen to cheaters in the game in general. As far as what I heard from reports in the game when it involves cheaters or not, there's a lot of people who have actually been permanently banned in the game, which is good, but there's also another issue where there's also been a thing in the past where it would cause temporary bans in the game. Game. That is not a solution. If if people are cheating in the game, I thoroughly do believe, and I'm going to stand by it, that people do deserve to be permanently banned from it. I don't care how well talented they are to cheat in Hunt Showdown or do whatever they can to try to ruin the game for others. I just want to see these cheaters actually receive the proper consequence for cheating in a video game in general. Most players who played Hunt Showdown thoroughly believe that if Crytek were to invest themselves in a better anti-cheat, that it would solve a lot more problems. This is 
also another solution, which I don't understand why they never implemented a better easy anti-cheat or a better anti-cheat in general in order to be able to deal with players who are cheating in the game. This has been one of the main complaints for Hunt Showdown for probably months to years at a time, and they still haven't updated their own anti-cheat software in order to be able to deal with these players at least a little bit easier. I cannot even think about how many reports have been done in Hunt Showdown when it came to cheaters. Like, there's probably millions of them at this point and I don't know if Crytek is either permanently banning them or temporarily banning them at this rate. That portion will never be known at least until now. The only thing I do know is that Hunt Showdown still has a prominent problem with these cheaters and it's going to be active like that for years at a time. How a company that makes millions off of actual DLC or the game itself has still a huge problem with an abundance of cheaters I will never know. So in all honesty, to just sum up why I never wanted to play Hunt Showdown again after update 1.12, it seems like Crytek is listening to their community. I'm starting to absolutely believe that they're making this up. There is no possible way that they are listening to their community when you are taking away both options and fun experiences away from the player base. If players literally have to forcefully bring down their MMR, it's one thing, which is basically just causing more MMR abuse. Imbalanced weaponry, which is a big issue in Hunt Showdown because, I mean, I have to be honest, I believe the low caliber ammo just never got fixed. It's probably one of the lowest used caliber ammos in the game or any form of ammo type in the game. And then thirdly, why is this game trying to become a competitive shooter? That's the one thing that really boggles my mind. Like you have a game that is designed to go after AI monsters and trying to get bounties and escape with them. That was like the whole main base point of the game. That, that was it. There was no like, oh, we had to do this, this, or that, or, you know, we have to remove certain things. Like, reshading characters and making them more visible makes sense to me. That, I feel like, was a necessary update. But based on everything else that Crytek constantly tries to do to try to make the game better, it's not making things better. It's making things selectively and explicably worse. I mean, if there's evidence to prove that there is latency advantages, that there's MMR abuse, that there is weapon freaking unbalancing, that there is actually a serious problem with still a bunch of bugs and glitches and even exploits and cheats that players are doing, which in itself could be a fifth problem because I know this game does not have anything they're doing right when it comes to cheaters. Cheaters are very common in Hunt Showdown. Like, it's actually absurd how common it is in Hunt Showdown. I have to admit, this game's a giant pile of shit. What are they doing? We still have easy anti-cheat that's easy to bust through. There are memes for a reason with how shitty that anti-cheat is. Crytek is not banning their cheaters. They are not permanently banning cheaters. And to give credit to cheaters and say that they are, oh, they are well talented people and whatever, then work in IT security or something, man. The fact that you are literally testing it out constantly and spending a lot of hours in a game cheating is kind of telling me that you are just no life cheating in a video game. I'm just pointing that out. But the thing that absolutely aggravates me is that the game was never like this before. And that is the real issue here. Yes, Hunt Showdown was one of the first games I ever reviewed on my channel. Yes, Hunt Showdown was great in its prime. But it's just not fun. Like that, that's just the end result of it. They took it way too seriously. They forced skill based matchmaking. They literally are just making players constantly abuse the MMR system. Cheaters are still abundant. Glitches are still abundant. Bugs are still an issue. Server latency advantage is a real thing in Hunt Showdown. And with all that just added to it, like that is like six different kind of deadly fucking sins you could put in a video game. That sounds like the worst pile of shit you could ever experience in a game. I'm not touching this game anymore. Alright? I refuse. I There's a reason I never made... Re like reviews about the weapons or whatever in that game. I talked more about the weapons in Tarkov than I have with Hunt Showdown because it doesn't matter approximately like which weapon I'm talking about. 
if a shotgun, for example, is using slugs, it has a base range between 30 to 40 meters. If, it, if I'm talking about long ammo, they're all pretty much effective no matter what range at any point given in time. If I'm talking about low caliber ammo, you might as well just point that low caliber ammo in your own character's head and blow your brains out to lower your MMR. Because again, MMR abuse is still a thing. Everything else is still a problem in Hunt Showdown. I don't know who Crytek is listening to, but at this rate, they need to stop listening to demands from players and start fixing the main issues of the game. And I don't think they're ever going to be able to get in touch with it. It's just not going to happen. I do not see it happening. And it would probably take them years to realize what the main issues are, even though it's been shoved right in their face. So with that being said, I am, I'm just refusing to ever play this game again. I hope you all enjoyed this review. This has probably been one of the most comprehensive reviews I've ever had to do on a single video game. And I hope to fucking whatever God exists out there that I never have to go through this shit ever again. This has been Epic Game Guru. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it that much, and I'll see you all next time.